Better than you. Meg sobs as King snubs Sussex's to offer Olive Branch to Andrew by inviting him to Balmoral. King Charles has reportedly offered an Olive Branch to his disgraced brother Prince Andrew by inviting him and the Duchess of York to Balmoral. The Duke is the first family member to join the King at the Highlands Castle, and a move royal insiders said showed relations between the two have improved. Charles was reportedly joined by the Duke and his ex-wife Sarah, the Duchess of York, who is recovering from a breast cancer operation over the weekend. Andrew drove himself to the 50,000 acre estate on Royal Deeside before later being accompanied by Sarah, who flew to Aberdeen. The pair are staying at the seven bedroom Craigowin Lodge on the estate, favored by the late Queen. A royal insider insisted it was not a snub. The pair were staying at the lodge instead of the main house, telling the Express, quote, The king and Andrew are now on much better terms, and making him the first member of the family to join him at this moment is an olive branch. The apparent peace offering came as Prince Andrew appeared to have won his battle to remain in the seven-bedroom royal lodge in Windsor. The king had been attempting to persuade his brother to move into the vacant Frogmore Cottage, the former home of Prince Harry and Meghan. Charles wanted Andrew to leave the 30-room mansion where he lives with his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson and downsize to the Sussex's old home. But the king does not have the power to force out Andrew from the 30 million pound royal lodge, with royal insiders claiming the plan to move the duke out have now been shelved. The news comes as insiders claim Charles did not want his brother to come out of the freezer amidst fears from the royal aides that there are still unexploded bombs over the Duke of York's links to pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Royal insiders are concerned the Duke is more of a long-term problem than Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The late Queen Elizabeth II stripped her son of all his royal patronages and military roles in January of 2022. His friendship with Epstein is causing the most worry for aides, though, with His Majesty not wanting his brother to come out of the freezer. A royal source told the Times, Andrew is more of a long-term problem. It feels more like stuff is going to come out on Epstein and there are still unexploded bombs there. Epstein served almost 13 months in jail in 2008 after he was convicted of procuring a child for prostitution and sexually abusing a 14-year-old girl. But Andrew continued his friendship with the offender after his release. He told the BBC in 2019 that his relationship with Epstein and the opportunities he had been given were very useful and said he didn't recall the photo where he is seen with his arm around Virginia Roberts, now known as Virginia Goofrey, ever having been taken. Jeffrey Epstein took his own life while in jail in 2019, though many speculate if he really took his own life. Epstein's former girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, who was also a friend of Andrew's and appears in the background of a photo of him and Miss Goofrey, is serving 20 years in prison for sex trafficking. Meanwhile, a friend of the king believes the fallout with Prince Harry has humiliated him, and he's been reassured by the side of the public has come down. Before that, after being mocked in the animated comedy South Park, Harry and Meghan's popularity in the U.S. dropped seriously lower than that of Prince Andrew even. Between December of last year and February of this year, Harry dropped 48 points, and Meghan dropped 40 points in the survey Redfield and Wilton. Currently, their approval ratings are negative 10 and negative 17, respectively, lower than that of Prince Andrew. Despite still being viewed negatively after the pedophilia scandal, Americans' approval rating for the Duke of York was still negative 2%.